I'm doing the first pick of the blueberries. I'm up to this bush. I've done the top row already, which is Brigitte. I'm on the bottom row now, which is Blue Rose. How do you know when your berries are ready to pick? Just because they have turned blue doesn't automatically mean they're ready to pick. If you leave them on the bush for a few days, they will sweeten up. We learned by accident that if you leave them for a few days after they turn blue, they will sweeten up. We learned this because nobody got around to coming down the patch and were we ever pleasantly surprised. These berries are at optimum picking. See how easily they come away from the bush. If they don't want to come away easily, they're not quite ready. This one is probably a little bit past best. It is losing its powder naturally. When you pick a, a ripe berry, you'll see the, the powder comes off to expose the darker shade underneath. So these ones here probably should have been picked a day or two ago. Ah, oh, great. A bit of collateral damage. But you can pick quite quickly. If it doesn't want to give away at a slight roll of the thumb, then I leave it for another day or two. These ones should have been picked a day or two ago, but they're still quite edible. They're just a bit darker. Blueberries are the easiest fruit to process for long-term storage. They go into the freezer just as they are. They don't need any special preparation at all. Having said that, they don't last long around here anyway, because the troops will eat them by the handful, literally. This here is a tea plant that grows in amongst my blueberries. I have several of these. They've been a bit slow growing, been in the ground for several years, uh, maybe four, five. And they're really only just taking off now. I haven't harvested from them yet. It's, um, that's for another time. I also grow strawberries amongst the, these bushes. They are a good guild because they are all acid loving. There you go. I always fancy I can hear the bush breathe a sigh of relief when it's relieved of a big load of ripe fruit like that. Kaplink, kaplank, kaplunk. Anyone who is familiar with the story of blueberries for sale will understand that reference. It's a delightful children's book which I read to my boys when they were young. It talks about harvesting blueberries so the mother can preserve them for winter. But they meet a bear and her cub eating blueberries, putting on weight, ready for their hibernation. But Sal eats most of her blueberries as she goes along. So she never gets past the kaplink, kaplink, kaplunk of the first three berries going into her little tin bucket. And I must say, this is breakfast time for me, so yes, I have been eating them as I go along. And look at that. Strawberries. Oh, something's been into that one. That's a chook one. 
I've had a few already and they're very nice for breakfast as well. Ooh, more strawberries. <laughs> and some are getting eaten. That will be slugs. If your berry still has a hint of pink, like this one here, definitely this one right here, then I don't harvest it. Even this one I wouldn't take. See that pink tinge there? Not quite ready. Leave that for the next harvest. The pink under there, way too much. So it's worth checking both sides sometimes to make sure your berry is good. The one on the right, not quite ready. The one on top, beautiful. It just came off easily with a little push of the thumb.